All systems are green. Go for launch. Sometimes a good idea Five, four, can really take off. Two, one, march. 17-year-old Shelby Klingsporn's idea was to launch the world's smallest pacemaker into space to see if Micra, which contains some glass components and wires thinner than human hair, could withstand the brutal g-forces of liftoff. Not to mention the radiation, high and low temperatures, and the jolt of an ocean splashdown. I think there's going to be a lot of internal damage inside the pacemaker. Plus 40. Shelby would get her answer in just under eight hours. The pacemaker only weighs 1.75 grams. Her idea started as a high school science project through a non-profit education program called Cubes in Space. Students submit proposals to launch tiny experiments into space on board a NASA rocket. Shelby's inspiration was personal. Well, and I kept looking and looking and I came across this pacemaker. Well, I have a friend who actually has a pacemaker too, so that sort of motivated me a little bit more. From several hundred entries around the world, Cubes in Space picked just 80, including Shelby's. Winners visited the launch site in Virginia and explained their experiments to NASA visitors. So is it going to break or is it not going to break? That's kind of the question, you know. Six hours after launch, the payload returned. It took NASA engineers another two hours to tear down the rocket and retrieve the experiments. Shelby had company while she waited. Medtronic engineers Wade Demmer and Tom Anderson advised her on her project and came to see the results firsthand. If it doesn't work, you know, there, there's no such thing as a failed experiment. Uh, the great thing about science is you're always going to learn something. I'm nervous to Get open a wrap it. around it too. Oh, wait, yeah. Eight hours after liftoff, it's time to open the cube. Well, I see a micro. The cube is undamaged, despite experiencing more than 20 times the force of gravity. All right, first micro in space. Now, we're going to try to talk to it with the programmer here. Demmer sends micro a message, and micro answers. All right, you see these green marks right here? Yeah. The pacemaker is pacing after being in space. And it's talking to us through the telemetry, and it's pacing normally. More tests reveal even more good news. Micra interpreted the shaking of the space trip as exercise and increased its pacing rate, just as it was designed to do. Just fantastic. And so the results of Shelby's high school science experiment may be an even bigger idea. You know, our mission is to return people to full life. And if you know that you can go on a spacecraft with it, it's hard to imagine uh, a more full life than literally the Earth is not a limitation for you.